I have another great selection of guitars going out here today and uh, most of them going to the USA. We've also got two going to England and one going also uh, as far as Hungary. So uh, yeah, I'll just jump in and we'll, uh, we'll go through them as always. So the first one's going to Dan in Bournemouth in England and uh, he's got the short scale 12 string or little amicus uh, finished in our red quilted maple and uh, red just looks great over the quilted maple and uh, red carbon back and sides. Then next one is going to Stephen in Kent, also in England, and uh, this is figured mahogany. And uh, figured mahogany, figured is just about the only word we could come up with for it, because it's got so many different patterns. It's got some bear claw in here. It's got quilting. Um, it's just got so much different details, and uh, just a remarkable piece of, uh, of mahogany. Um, this one's done with the amber back and sides and then the gold tuners, which I think really complement well with the nice warm glow of the top. Then we have uh, Linda in Massachusetts. And uh, Linda's got uh, an X7 uh, nylon guitar. So uh, it's her X7 body. And uh, we've taken and we've modified the neck, uh, modified the headstock to suit our nylon. And this one's finished with uh, some really nice Coco Bolo. And uh, as you can see, it's got the, the custom handmade bridge, the hand carved headstock, and uh, they really, really look nice. So beautiful details on there with that Coco Bolo, and just a great sound in playing guitar as well. X7 actually works really nice as a nylon. We, you know, our standard nylon is the X20, but the small body of the X7, the shorter scale and everything just makes a really nice intimate 12 string. Oh, sorry, or, sorry, nylon string. Almost missed one. So this one's going uh, out to uh, Carl in uh, Hungary. And uh, this is our X20, finished in red carbon. And one uh, custom detail we've got is the LR Bags Anthem tucked away in there. So red carbon all around. Next one's going to uh, Deal in Texas. And uh, another piece of that figured mahogany and uh, you just see how it really moves and catches the light. And uh, we started moving now to, uh, to having our bridges finished with a natural carbon finish on top. Uh, so that's kind of a, a more a low gloss, just like a satin type finish. And I think it just contrasts really nicely with the, uh, with the gloss top. And uh, you really see a beautiful sheen of that carbon as well. Amber back and sides, same as the other one. Then we've got uh, Douglas in New Mexico and uh, another X20 and uh, this one's finished in Coco Bolo and uh, got some really nice stock of Coco Bolo recently and um, this one, uh, love the, the knots and the Coco Bolo, the lovely little small strip of the, uh, of the, um, the sap wood there and uh, some really nice detail and colors going on and then a darker amber back and sides. Then we've got Scott in Illinois, and this, uh, at first glance, you probably think this is quilted maple, but this is a new veneer that I've recently got, and it's uh, it's called Pommel Boss, and uh, it's it's kind of like kind of like quilted maple in a lot of ways, except it's more it's kind of longer um, kind of quilting going on. So uh, it's in some ways maybe it's a little bit in between a quilted and a flame, uh, but I really love how it looks. Uh, it's got that great th uh, three-dimensional kind of movement to it as well, and it uh, looks great with the color. It's a very light wood, so uh, when you put a color over it, it really pops. So you'll probably be seeing more of that coming through in the, in the near future. We've got Michael in Kentucky, another X20, and um, this one is Harborica uh, with a red uh, transparent dye over the top. Harborica is quite nice. It's uh, it's got a lot of, uh, almost like a, a metallic shimmer to it. Uh, whenever you move it with the light, it really shines through the color. And uh, with the contrast in colors between the light and the darker wood, just really looks good when you put a stain. I, I like it actually when you keep it natural, but when you put a color over it, it really pops. And then the red back and sides. We've got Stephen in Washington. And uh, this is uh, Paul Farrell. And uh, Power Ferro is a lot of really nice contrast and colors going on. Uh, the lighter browns, the dark, uh, almost blacks that are running right the way through it. 
and um, yeah, really nice subtle detail. And uh, this one's gone for red on the back and sides. Now here's a really interesting one. This one's going out to uh, Jack in Washington. And uh, this is Royal Ebony uh, with a green transparent over the top. Royal Ebony has a great contrast in colors from the really light wood to the, the jet black detail that's in it. And um, I really like it in its natural form, but uh, recently we've been doing it with color and I've really grown to like that as well. So uh, it just really pops. The bold patterns just really stand out uh, with the color. Then we've got uh, this really nice fretboard inlay and uh, with little green shamrocks. And uh, they just really glow in a very similar way to the, to the veneer on the top. Now, back and sides is where it's really quite interesting. So uh, you might have seen this same type of carbon weave uh, a couple of weeks ago in a custom that we made, a little custom amicus, and uh, using it again here. So this is a diamond weave pattern. Especially woven, uh, it's uh, really quite a complex weaving process that they use for this and uh, just really catches the light beautifully. So let me know what you think of this. Then Scott, Louisiana. And uh, Scott has gone for uh, the red quilt of maple. Again, that beautiful quilt of maple and uh, just really stands out with the color really sort of larger quilting on this than there was in the amicus uh, which is in keeping with the size of the guitar and uh, that same movement and uh, this is our x2012 string so beautiful big 12 string guitar now next one up is uh, james in florida another x2012 string and uh, this is our dark paw ferro um, really nice dark version of our paw ferro uh, much darker kind of colors here. Doesn't have the light wood like you're going to see in the next one that's coming up. Uh, amber back and sides. And our 12 strings are something we do a lot of. Um, if you've got a 12 string, if you're a 12 string fan, you'll know just how, uh, how hard it is to, to get a 12 string to uh, stay in tune and just take the, the standard um, or the amount of tension that's on a standard 12 string. A lot of people tune a 12 string down for that reason, uh, but we tune our 12 strings right up to full tension and uh, standard tuning. Work really, really well. Uh, structurally, it's carbon is just a ma great material, and uh, just sonically as well, I think it's a great material for a 12 string. So this one, last one, is going out to Jeffrey in New Hampshire, and uh, this is a beautiful X30, uh, great one to finish off our our selection today. And um, this is Pau Ferro, an amazing piece of Pau Ferro. Just the, the the details going on on this is quite something. Um, it's almost like some kind of a psychedelic drawing from the 60s. Um, just the way this swirls and the movement in it, it's just really quite something. Uh, a lot of different color going on the top. Back and sides is amber. And uh, it's our big Jumbo X30. Uh, really great guitar. If you just look at the ergonomics, the contours of the back and sides, uh, that deep cutaway, even though it's a 12 fret to the body, allows you access. The rib bevel here and uh, just all those different details just make this a really comfortable guitar to play. So that's it for this week. Another great selection going out of here. Uh, very proud to see them going out around the world uh, on a weekly basis. So thanks for watching in. I've been watching some of the comments recently. and uh, You know, I hear people saying that they look forward to watching the, uh, the shipping videos on a Friday. So it's nice that you're following along. So keep doing that. We love building them and we'd love to know you're watching and enjoying. So see you soon.